Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 21 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Ottomans. We are still in a little bit of a pickle manpower wise and money wise as well. Uh, we've won a few wars, we are expanding slowly, we're starting to um, fabricate on Bosnia now as well. We want to try and nick some of that. We do have to be careful with uh, uh, Bosnia though because of course it is part of Europe, it is Christian. And that'll give us a lot more aggressive expansion in Europe itself. Uh, declining power of the Amira. As both influential landowners and traditional warrior class in our state, the Amira have not fared well lately. Through a combination of excessive infighting and poorly coordinated power plays, the Amira have lost influence in Constantinople and may have retired to their properties in the countryside. So their estate loses 10 influence. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. So Bosnia... Got a fair bit of aggressive expansion there. A fair bit with Wallachia. Wallachia is going to get wiped out at some point anyway. Um, Hungary is going to be a problem. Now, Naples doesn't like us all that much. But Naples, I believe, are in... Let's double check this. Naples are currently being integrated into Aragon. And Aragon is one of my um, allies. Now, we can have another rival. Let's have a look at that. We need to do another conversion. So as far as rivals, we've got Austria and Poland, and we can have Kara... Uh, I can't even pronounce that. Kara Koi... Koyunlu, who are basically my neighbours over here. Um, I guess we go ahead and uh, rival them because we can. Make sure we've got our full number of rivals. We'll need to therefore go and embargo them while we have a free diplomat as well. So let's go and... Um, do we, oh, no, I was going to say, do we have an alliance with them? But this is one of the great power actions that allows us to tell them to break their alliance with somebody else. Uh, we want to, and I've lost it completely now. It's under economic actions. Issue embargo. There we go. So let's go ahead and that done. We need to, let's get rid of the Christianity first. Get that sorted out. So, yeah, we shouldn't have to worry too much about Naples once they're integrated with Aragon. Aragon don't like me as much as they could do. So maybe we want to go and um, improve relations over here. Uh, we already have 58 improved relations, plus 50 for the alliance. There is a fair bit of aggressive expansion, but that should be okay. We don't need to improve our relations with those guys anymore because they are now our rivals. So that's a little bit pointless. Uh, Lithuania has been discovered while building a spy network. That is fine. Now, Wallachia, you... Uh, we have a Conquest CB against Wallachia there. Wallachia doesn't have any uh, real friends or allies. So we could potentially take uh, Wallachia. I do want to take Bosnia as well. We'll end up with so much aggressive expansion. But the other issue that we've got is we're a little light on troops due to a misplay earlier on in the campaign. I actually lost a full stack of 20, which was very annoying. Um, there are some uh, rebel factions with the potential to pop. Uh, the Mamlukian Separatists, for example. And uh, is it going to tell me where you are going to pop? Um, it should tell me there. Mamlukian Separatists. Independence for Greece. You still have a... Rhodes is still occupied. Oh, right. Okay, I hadn't even noticed that. We need to get some uh, troops down there. Let's go and... Um, we don't need many because there's no fort on there. Good job I checked that. I wouldn't have even noticed it. Um, so, yeah, the Mamelukian Separatists. Where are you going to pop? He's not even going to tell me. Uh, Gaza and Nablus. So, basically, these two provinces here. Which one has the higher development? It's actually that one. Uh, which is um, Drylands. They're both coastal deserts, so they'll get no defensive bonus, whichever one they pop in. So we'll move you down into that. Uh, we'll get you guys to go and unseage Rhodes so we can get rid of the Greek Separatists. Annoyingly, they don't even appear on Rebel Factions because they've been destroyed, but it's not showing that they still have a province occupied. Scholars have discovered ancient documents tracing the heritage of our noble dynasty back to Julius Caesar himself. This must be used to our advantage, so we can gain 5 legitimacy or 10 prestige. 
Well, Legitimus is not bad, but Legitimacy gives you extra prestige anyway, so we might as well do that one. We've renewed alone, which is unfortunate, but um, unavoidable to a certain extent. Right, let's get you guys onto the boats. Let's just get the boats. Well, we can't even dock on to roads because it's occupied, so we're going to have to do a naval landing. So that is fine. So transport and right click. So let's just land these guys there. So we need to build up to our force limit as well. Ah, Aragon actually giving us money. That's always nice. They like us enough to do that. Um, Milan would like a condottieri. Now the thing is I could go and get gain some money by using my army as a condottieri for Milan. The problem with that is we end up then um, losing more manpower. They're currently in a uh, war against Genoa. Um, maybe we could send them a small stack. I'm not too sure uh, how big a stack they would be uh, willing to take. We've managed to go and um, get that back. So let's go and pick the guys up. So if we were to offer you uh, Condottieri. If I can even find the uh, icon for it now. Uh, offer Condottieri. So, the four stack, you wouldn't even take the four stack. Yeah, they can't even afford to, a stack of four men. So, yeah, so why why even bother me with it? What am I going to do? Send them, like, one infantry. What would be the point? There wouldn't be one, is what I'm trying to say. Right, let's go ahead and uh, get you guys dropped off then, because we need to build that stack up. Our uh, force limit is 67. So we'll go up to sort of three stacks of 20. Uh, we've got one stack of 20 here. At least it should be a stack of 20. And indeed it is. So we're starting to get a few more cannons in these stacks. We'll probably want to pad the back row out somewhat. Um, gain 25 piety and lose a load of money. or We'll lose the piety and gain the money actually. We're not at war at the moment. So we'd prefer to lose piety and increase our manpower recovery speed. So, I like that fort being there because it sort of blocks off the coast here. Uh, one thing that they are um, doing in the next patch that comes out, it's not a DLC, it's just a patch, 1.19 uh, I think it is. Uh, they're actually changing the way zone of control works, so it should be a lot more intuitive. So, that will be interesting. Cannon fodder. It appears our country is getting rather empty and lacking a very important resource. Cannon fodder. Fear not. While we may lack this resource, one of our subjects have plenty of fresh meat for the battlefields. Should we force their servitude, they would be less than pleased, but such is the way of things. So, we can gain 6,500 manpower, but Crimea's opinion would change by uh, 50, and they would gain 15 liberty desire, or we can lose 10 prestige. What is Crimea's current liberty desire and how much... Right, we've got 200 opinion. And I don't think they have much liberty desire at all. Yeah, liberty desire is nothing. So let's just gain some manpower from them. So they won't like us as much now, but they still do like me. And we could... I think we've still got some improved relations we could do if we wanted. Um, yeah, improved relations is only plus 88. And bear in mind they're a subject, so improved relations can go up to 200. Uh, Golden Horde is getting well and truly sieged out by Muscovy up here, which is interesting. We should really be attacking the Golden Horde and giving bits of it to Crimea, especially as the Golden Horde are uh, Sunni as well. Now, we do have a CB against you. Gained a CB against Poland. Now, if I were to declare a war on you, we've got... No, we don't actually have a CB. Well, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Let's go ahead and start fabricating over there then. Um, so build a spy network. If we can get claims on all three of these provinces, we can just go ahead and uh, grab Wallachia. We do want to start getting some claims on Bosnia as well. Um, Lebanese separatists. Where are you guys going to fire? You are going to fire in um, Sidon, Sidon. Which is right there. So you guys are right next to it. This is mountains. Um, we'll keep our eye on that one. Because obviously we want to make sure we've got troops in the mountains before they pop. Those Mamelukian separatists don't look like they're going to pop actually. So I'll put these guys in the mountains. Um, so that we'll get the defensive bonus. And then if we do have to go and fight these guys. We can just fight them in the dry lands or the coastal desert. So that should be nice and easy for us to do. 
So we do want to go ahead and um, build these uh, guys up if we can. So let's get you a couple of cav. And let's go ahead and get you uh, four artillery. I do still want to get some of these loans paid off. We are in quite a bit of debt. Though we are still making money, even with uh, full army maintenance, to be honest. Inflation is going down. Uh, how many loans do we have? Um... Why can I never see it? We have six loans, so we're actually going down, although the loans are bigger. Uh, we can afford to repay a loan, so let's go ahead and get rid of one. Just sort of get rid of them a bit at the time. Some people were saying that I should build um, buildings, and I certainly want to. But I want to get rid of the debt first, so we don't have to worry too much about the inflation. Uh, we also need to try and grab Wallachia and Bosnia. Uh, lose 100 ducats or gain some local unrest in one province here. We'll do that. Uh, what is Venice up to? There seems to be moving a lot of troops around. Nothing going on at the moment. Uh, looks like we've completed a mission. Uh, Iceland and the Royal Princes. Uh, as is customary, some of our provinces are governed by Imperial Princes. Yeah, we've seen this one before. Lose 15 prestige and the Emir Estate loses loyalty. Or lose one base production. I'd sooner them lose get I don't want to lose development. Never want to lose development. Um Rival of our rival. Uh so that gives us some prestige and diplo power. So we can bring you back now from um Is that Denmark? What do we want to do next then? Uh our manpower reserves need to recover. Yeah, I doubt that's gonna happen anytime soon. Some trade efficiency would be nice. Conquer Levant. Where is Levant? Who does that belong to? I guess we're going to have to go and uh, look for it. Because I have no idea where that province is. I've obviously spelt that wrong. Um, L-E-V. So how come that's only showing me uh, Cleves? I am not seeing any Levant there at all. Weird. Uh, Mamluks. Oh, it's a region. I see. Mission succeeds when all the following criteria are met. So that's quite uh, considerable. A lot of stuff that we'd need to grab to get that. Um, Dia back here. I think that's just a single province. Um, which is this one here. Do we have any sort of claims on it? don't think we do. We don't. However, we do have a CB against those guys and we get a CB on it. And they are my rival. So we could go ahead and do that mission. Uh, what do we get for it? Monthly autonomy change. Yeah, we'll go for it. Who are they allied with, if anybody at all? They've got a few allies going on. They're allied with Hassa, Uzbek and Tabaristan. And uh, what about Trebizond over here? You have no alliances at all. So you are potentially an easy target. Now then. Um, do we have any CBs on you? We do not. We don't even have a truce with you. You have a CB on me. But I don't have a CB on you. And I don't want to know CB war them. Let's go ahead and... Um, Build a spy network over here as well. It's just a single province. If we can grab that, nice, quick and easy one for us to do. So we've got a few potential targets lined up right now. Uh, we can recall our diplomat from Aragon. The transports can go back over there. We don't really need them right now. So how are things with Aragon these days? 114. Some of it is aggressive expansion. Most of the negativity is aggressive expansion, but that will start to go away. But yeah, we've got a fairly big alliance network, which, funnily enough, Venice is now in. Um, although Venice are also allied with Savoy and Lucy. I mean, there's definitely we'd definitely be able to find a way, if we wanted to, to take Dalmatia. I know someone was a bit upset that I hadn't taken Dalmatia already, but Dalmatia's not really all that important. Um, it's Ragusa that's the important one. Ragusa is the coastal centre of trade, not Dalmatia. Um, but uh, we'll kind of end up sort of surrounding it, really. Um, oh, well. Spy in Bosnia has been discovered. That's unfortunate. 
Uh, we can go ahead and fabricate some claims, though. So let's go ahead and fabricate the claims where we can. Uh, probably don't have enough to fabricate another claim, do we? No. But we want to build a spy network. 27th of December, we can go back. So we've got our CB against Bosnia. It's being a little bit slow building up some of these uh, other CBs. We only need one claim over here, though, and then we can take these guys out. They've got no allies, so we can literally just march straight in there and give them a give them a good kicking. We have a rebellion. It is over here, so let's move straight in and deal with them. Uh, the other one, the Lebanese Separatist, has only got a 70% chance to fire, so we'll have plenty of time to deal with this. We will lose some manpower, unfortunately. But we did win that, so let's move you back over there. Okay, so. Um, we can go for quality ideas. Now, I don't really like these ones because they're, they're like ships and stuff. Um, extra ship durability is not bad, though, and it would give us manpower recovery speed plus 20%. Now then, that would mean giving up on a military idea, and we are a bit behind. We would like to get um, better tactics and newer infantry, so I think we'll actually hold off on that one, and we're going to try and get the tech first, especially as the tech price is currently going up because we haven't adopted the latest... Um, I can never remember the words now. The latest institution. We haven't adopted that yet. So we're already getting a 5% penalty. So we want to try and grab that tech as quickly as we can. Uh, we can also now go back to... Um, no, not counter-espionage. To building a spy network on Bosnia. Uh, managed to convert Sidon. That should reduce their... Um, let's go to uh, Ragusa because they're also Catholic. We're getting most of the conversions done now. We are getting there. Um, so Sidon should now go down, but Ragusa is going to be a problem. That's all right, because we can go ahead and move you guys over there. So that should deal with that. Manpower is recovering now. So we want to get this stack built up. So basically, it's a 10 stack. It just needs 10 more infantry. We've got 10,000 manpower. Um, so we'll just, uh, we're not going to spend it all straight away. We'll just do it a little bit at a time. Keep some money, well, we're out of money anyway, but just keep some manpower in reserve. Keep some money in reserve as well. So literally just, uh, oh, what have we got going on here? New emperor, that is fine. Um, nobles demand old rights. Amir gains 10 loyalty, but we get some monthly autonomy change for 10 years. It's only 0.05, which is a bit of a pain. I don't want to lose the stability, though, so I don't mind a bit of autonomy change. It won't be all that much. I mean, 0.05 times 120, so not an awful lot. We've renewed a loan. That is fine. We will get them all paid off soon. There we go. We're starting to form up our uh, third stack now. Our uh, manpower... Our, uh, Force limit is still 67. The other thing you've got to remember as well, though, there's no point just constantly building up your force limit if you don't have the treasury to support an army of that size. I could quite easily build loads of training fields and... Uh, is it training fields? I can never remember which building it is. Uh, there's one building that gives you... Uh, barracks is manpower, force limit, regimental camp. I could quite easily go around and build regimental camps everywhere, but the problem with that is I wouldn't have enough money to be able to support that force limit anyway. So you need two more infantry. Uh, do you know what? We can afford it. Let's go ahead and do it. So that's three stacks of 60. We could probably stick an extra cannon or two. If we've got five cannons in each stack, it would probably make more sense. Uh, we've got no rebellions going on at the moment, which is really nice. So we could potentially, as we're not at war at the moment, go and put down our army maintenance slightly. Make some more money back. Now that means there are potential uh, rebellions that could pop because we're not putting as much pressure out. But that's fine. We'll just keep our eye on that. Uh, it is possible somebody could try and attack us. Now we are allied with France and Aragorn. So uh, I don't think anyone is going to attack that quickly. How far into the integration process are you? 15, 17. So another nine years and all of Naples should become part of Aragon. So taking that for ourselves will be slightly more tricky. Doesn't mean we have to stay friends with Aragon forever. We could certainly move in and take out parts of Europe. Uh, it is definitely my plan to try and take as much of Africa as possible and also move into the east. But not only that, 
Also see if we can sort of dig into Hungary and Poland because they're going to be a bit, bit of a pain if we don't deal with them. So literally just waiting now for my um, better military tech, which will be useful. We're also waiting on a couple of... Uh, we're fabricating on three different co countries at the moment. Uh, Bosnia, Wallachia, and um, uh, Trebizond. Trebizond are um, orthodox. Uh, Wallachia should be orthodox as well. Bosnia is Catholic. Yeah. But I think if you attack, I think because Orthodox, Catholic, Reformed, um, Protestant, they all count as Christianity. So attacking one of them gives you aggressive expansion with all of them, really. Because it's religious groups, not individual religions, where you get the aggressive expansion. At least it used to be, unless they've gone ahead and changed it. Um, is it worth making any states down here? You would actually give me a little bit of an increase, to be honest. Not a huge amount, but... Sure, let's go and do it. We've got some admin power, so we'll go and do the call. It's not incredibly expensive. Uh, what else have we got up here? You would give us a negligible increase. It's not worth the admin points. Um, you could give us a fair bit as well, so let's go ahead and do that. So we spent a bit of admin power there, but that should uh, help us out in the long run. It's actually saying we've got enough money now to start building some improvements, but we're going to wait until we've got some of that debt cleared. So, the rebel factions haven't got anywhere near popping yet. But, um, yeah, we're still, we, okay, no wars went on this episode, but we've got some of the important stuff done. I've also just noticed down here that the knights have uh, returned. This is actually an event that, I'm not sure who gets it, I think it's the papal state. But somebody gets an event that if, the, um, if Rhodes gets captured, um, they can actually give land to the knights. So the knights actually now have uh, Malta. Um, they have a reconquest CB against us. Unfortunately, I don't share a C zone with them, so I don't have any way of actually uh, getting a CB against them. Uh, they have a lot of allies as well, including Venice, so that would be a really good way of, uh, of getting to Venice if we wanted to. But yeah, we'd need to sort of get down here as far as Tunis or do something like that in order to take them. Um, Golden Horde has shrunk considerably. Now then, have you guys fabricated any claims? You have not. So what I probably want to do is go over here. And I always forget to do this, which is a relatively new thing that they added in a few patches ago, a few expansions ago, is I always forget, um, I want to click my nation. No. What am I doing? Yes. Yes. So I want to say that all of these Golden Horde provinces I want. And uh, these ones as well. And then hopefully what will happen... We want that. Um, hopefully what will happen then is our march will actually start to fabricate claims on them. Because they're not really doing that at the moment. But I think that's all we've got time for in this video. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you are still enjoying uh, EU4. I'll see you on the next video. And until then... Goodbye for now.